To apply for a CCRIP program, it is a two-part process. Step one is to complete a very short application in Horizons. Step two is to complete the longer application in the CSRIP portal, which is the application the selection committee will review. So it is important that you do both. Let's begin by looking at Horizons, where you will begin. You can do this in any order, so we'll jump around and we're gonna jump to the apply for CSRIP. As I just said, it's telling you, don't forget that other application is really important and you wanna make sure that you complete it as well. Let's jump down to the financial information because again, you can do this in any particular order. This is really just reminding you, don't forget to apply for scholarships. It's never too early to start applying. If you wait until you submit your application or even find out if you get in, by that time you miss some of the biggest and the best scholarships. Also would encourage you to think about budgeting for study abroad. While CSUIP does list cost estimates on their page, you may still want to put together your own budget that factors in additional costs such as travel and what you actually will be spending on your program and utilize that information to decide how many scholarships and other resources you want to put together so you have a successful time abroad. We also do ask that you let us know who your emergency contacts is. We hope that nothing will happen, but just to be safe, we'd like to know who should we should contact. Also, many programs, not all, who allow you to take dependents with you. Will you have any dependents? It's just helpful for us to know that now so that we can make sure we give you the best advice and resources to help you be successful when studying abroad. Also, think about whether or not you need to renew your passport. To apply for study abroad, passports need to be valid for at least six months after the end of your program. That is because we want you to be successful later. We're setting you up because if you get accepted into the program, then you have to apply for a student visa and student visas require you to have a passport valid for six months after the program. So while you cannot, nor should you apply for a student visa at this time, we want to make sure everything is ready to go. So check the expiration date of your passport. Do that by opening your passport. And as you can see by the first red arrow at the bottom, ah, is it gonna be valid in this case, this example passport, the answer would be no. So this, this individual, Michelle Obama, if <laughs> she was gonna study abroad, would need to renew her passport or apply for a new one. If you have a brand new passport, then also check to make sure it's signed. Technically, passports are not considered valid until they have been signed. If your passport is good to go, then please upload a copy into the application. It does say scan, but anywhere it says scan, you are welcome to take a photo. Photos come out great. It's not a problem if your fingers are in there. Just please make sure everything is visible, including these numbers at the bottom and you can see both pages of the passport. If you need to renew your passport or apply for a new one, it's okay to upload a receipt or a Word document stating when you have renewed or applied for your passport because we want to really know that date to make sure everything is on track. If you do that and later you receive your new passport, just email a copy to studyabroad at svsu.edu as you will not be able to change the section of the application, but the advisors would be happy to help you with that. Then you'll be ready to move on to part two. Like I said, the most important part as this is what the session committee reviews. So going to CSRIP's website, find your program, um, click on the login button at the top because you will need to create an account for them. And then on the program page of your choice, click apply now. And once you've done so, you'll be able to begin working on the longer of the two applications. You can also jump around the videos below. We'll go into more details about this portion of the application and completing these sections.